have this action that he whipped her ass. Mm -hmm. And then she was his girlfriend, fiance, girlfriend, same, it's the same bullshit. Right. Until he wipes you, you are just a girlfriend. Uh -huh. And this bitch married him. Right. I have nothing else to say. That's what I'm saying. Why 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 why, 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 why marry you? Why man? why marry the, the guy? That's what I want to yeah, know. Well, some some people in relationships they just think that they can um they can save him. They can change him so Oh, that dumb that. bitch shit. Oh got you. Right. <laughs> but you know what? Actually, men do it too. Yeah, men do it and it's, it's still a, dumb bitch shit. Yeah, it's, it's still it's, dumb right. bitch shit. It's not a man thing or woman thing. Right. You know? No, it's it's dumb bitch shit. <laughs> but you know what it is? The thing is the thing is also too, man, like I was saying, I did a video about this and I was saying, you know, he's not the only one to blame in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Because the woman also, because it looked like when you see the video, it looked like he was, she was walking past him mm -hmm. and then she like kind of threw her hand it. at she him or something. So that, that already there's showing some type of uncooperation on her part. Not saying that he should have. Cooperation. No, that, no, but this is what I'm trying to say. If you're looking from afar and you see two people in a relationship and you just see that those Actions, Their actions you know what i'm saying collectively right you say okay mm -hmm. these two is in some fucked up shit and we don't know what happened before exactly. that we don't know what's happening at home so mm -hmm. it's not just i don't believe it was just like he was just waiting for his girl they went to the elevator and all of a sudden he just hit her out of the blue for nothing you know what i'm saying like it could have been stuff that's built up and i'm not excusing what he oh, did no, no. but i'm just serious. saying like people don't you know we yeah. don't look at the whole picture and then i find it funny how they put this out now. Mm -hmm. I'm like, football why? Football season. It's been out since last football season. Right. But it comes out again this football and, and, season. And the reason I think they put it out, because that other dude, um, what's his name, Bruce Levinson, the one that owns the Hawks, he did that racist email. You heard about that? Mm -hmm. So he made an email talking about the reason why his, his ticket sales are so low because too many black people are at his games and they're scaring the white people away, whatever. So <laughs> that was in the news. <laughs> and now all of a sudden... It just wow. switched up to Ray Rice all of a sudden, like now. You know what I'm saying? With some shit we already seen that sort of happened already. So it's like, but you know what? Even still, whether or not something happened and they trying to smoke screen or cover this, the fact that um he hit this woman is that's the issue. I just right. want to say one thing: domestic violence in um what do you call that? In, in, in the whole football thing. Not with just the players, but with people watching. Did you know, like, Super Bowl Sunday is the worst time for women? Like, domestic violence is at its highest? Um, no. <laughs> so, the call, oh. so we, we, we're we going to have to get back to the callers after the break. Because this, this, this blog talk shit, let me tell you guys something real quick. The blog talk shit is always some bullshit going on. This is why we got to get our own servers and all that shit because block talk be fucking shit up but we're we gonna get so the callers hold on we're gonna we're gonna try to fix everything so we can get you guys back after the break you feel what i'm saying so just just keep a hold on that but can I just say one go ahead so football super bowl sunday is when the most women get their asses with um mm. domestically and when it comes to domestic is violence <laughs> yes it's a statistic wow. google it Soup Sundays is the day during football time is when women get their ass kicked. Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, NFL knows this. I mean, what I'm not saying is not far fetched. It's been said before. So why y'all going all of a sudden jump on this bandwagon where y'all gonna um try to say that oh we're we're all about domestic violence. We want to stop it. If you were that committed to domestic violence, this would be something that you address every mm. Sunday, every commercial to ran. You would address it at least in one commercial, but you don't. And I just, that's where the bullshit lies. And, uh, and some other racial bullshit to it, too. Oh, of course. Oh, okay. So, good. We ain't got, ain't got to say they, they, So, we ain't got to play the race card. I thought we should. <laughs> All right. Okay. You know, but that's what I'm saying, that. though. Like, you know, it's like the fucking, they, they, they choose now to come out with this shit when some other scandal was happening with some white dude. You understand? Mm -hmm. and, and, and then, but also, like, like you were saying, they knew this happened already. So why the the NFL? But now it's like they're trying to save face. Like they, I, I saw this guy post this thing on Facebook, and he said, you know, he said it's it's he said it's funny how you know he was like they didn't get r rid of Ray Rice when they found out. They got rid of Ray Rice when you found out. You mm -hmm, understand? Because mm -hmm. they got to save face and make you buy tickets. Absolutely. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that's how that's how that shit goes. You understand? <laughs> but also, also in other uh, women getting their ass beat news. <laughs> um. Tahiri, go, those who don't know, Tahiri used to be the girlfriend of Joe Budden, who is a, a rap artist, and she became famous because she had a fat ass and she went out with Joe Budden, but she was at some fashion, uh, you know, sh uh, show, so I got the story from Vlad TV and it says, according to boss of reality star and entrepreneur, Tahiri uh, was viciously, viciously beaten by a man backstage 
at the Tour Designs Runway Show in NYC. The Love & Hip Hop star was set to walk for the show, but got into a confrontation with Carlos Gonzalez, production manager of the Helen Mills event venue where the event was placed. An insider said that Gonzalez had been bad-mouthing Tahiri since she walked in the building. And when she confronted him, he started walking towards her and then blacked out. And an alleged witness said that he attempted to pull the model's hair while striking her several times. It took, it reportedly took seven to eight men to restrain Gonzalez and get Tahiri to safety. Tahiri is said to have checked into Lennox Hospital following the altercation, but is reportedly at home recovering. So, wow. why is everyone beating women's asses? That's the question we need to ask. Is it is it is it men are crazy, or was women just getting their ass beat? No, What's going it's, on? It's, you know, um, they're not crazy. You know, a person, um, they're not crazy. <laughs> point blank, period. They're not crazy, and being angry is a choice. And you can either choose to be angry, or you can choose to, to not walk be. away. Right. People walk away. choose. When, when we in a, we live in a, a, a time where people have more access to um, news and media. Um, in 1979, less women weren't getting their asses whipped. Mm. It's the same thing. Everybody just got a phone now, and we have social media, so we learn about right. these things quicker. Right. Quicker. So, right. So it's like you know, because I'm I'm thinking I'm like okay, it got to be either. The, the the woman is doing something crazy to get an ass whooped. Oh, I think women are... Um, or the guy is just like, just want to whoop some ass, or both. Like, I, or, I, I or what is going on? You, just, you said it in the last part. The woman just... People are equally <laughs> responsible. Yeah, people right? are equally responsible. Right. Yeah. If I raise my hand yeah. to hit you... Right. Consequences are going to be with the consequences. And they're going to be any different because I raised my hand to hit a woman. Right. But... <laughs> But, everybody should be able to control themselves. Yeah, even, everybody, even, even if even the if, person who throws the even, first hit even is out of woman, control. Even if exactly, even if the person that throws the first hit is out of control, then that's you shouldn't. That don't mean that you retaliate because you was smacked or whatever. You know, um, I think. Um, Jay Z, there was it was a real oh with uh, Jay Z and Solange, yeah, and he just it, it was, he restrained uh, himself. This player yes. control, you yes, know what that's I mean? like, my... that's a great example. You know, I mean, even you know. Some people might find it laughable, but that's a great example of yeah, what is. you should do. That's that's a great example of having control and, and, and knowing that being angry is a choice. And he chose not to be angry. And that's what a lot of people should do. Right, that's right. what Jesus would do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So listen, listen, guys, we're going to take a, a, a break and we're going to try to get these phone lines working. And when we come back, we're going to get into more Sexy Party Show-ness, okay? So stay tuned. You guys listen to the Sexy Party Show on the GoPro Radio Network. Holla at us. We'll be back in a second. Listen to the voices inside your head. Yes. <laughs> your content developed by the GoPro Radio Network, the fastest growing network in the galaxy. GoPro Radio Network. Listen to the voices in your head.
start your show now, press 1. To hear important instructions, press 2. To speak to customer service, press 3. To hear important instructions, press 2. To speak to customer service, press 3. I grew up listening to a lot of jazz and funk. And I wanted to be a part of that movement in, in another way instead of just being a listener. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. Calling back into a live show, we are reconnecting you now. All right, we're back. God damn it. All right, all right, all right. We are back, god damn it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking fox hawk shit jesus man damn it they just fucking up the flow of the show and shit hold on let's see if the call is where let's see if we get ronan on the line let's click on ronan ronan are you can you hear me nice we can hear ronan in the spots what's popping so ronan we were talking earlier about you know this whole ray rice thing what's your thoughts on it i question the timing on it just like uh you know you guys do uh, it, it makes no sense to me because I, I grew up in a time where you respect each other's personal space. Right. So with them two spitting on each other and swinging on each other, mm. my whole thing is like the NFL already punished them with that suspension. Right. And now th- what they're doing is the whole double jeopardy nonsense where they figure they cower to, you know, the National Organization of Women and basically <laughs> get this dude kicked out for something he already got punished. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, the shit already happened. Why are we bringing it up again? That's the that's the question. And he right. went to. They both were arrested. Right. Um, her charges yeah. were thrown out. Mm. Um, he agreed okay. with the prosecution that he would go to anger management. Right. They agreed to this, and now we're saying, as a public, that it's unacceptable. Right, right. And it's, it's not even a pub, not the public, but the NFL. The NFL didn't even inquire, didn't even look into it when he, all this stuff went on. And okay. now, here's my, uh, go ahead. We'll say with all due respect, Nia, here's my problem. Like, Ben Roethlisberger has been accused three times or so mm. that we know of. Right. Of, of rape. Nothing has happened. Uh huh. So, so if you're going to call it down the middle, call it down the damn middle. No. I don't understand. How, I mean, you see where the double standard is, where they have Raleigh Cooper out there, who basically say, I'll beat every one of these niggas' asses out here at, at a concert and only have to get sensitivity training, he's still working. Or Richie Incognito, who was bullying another dude, talking mm, about, you know, about yep. nigga, it's like, what he's going to do with his family, he's still in the NBA. Right, the right, NFL. right. 
It's crazy, man. You know, the, the hypocrisy is ridiculous, man. It's some it's some crazy bullshit. But, you know, it's, it, it, it's you know, guys, just keep your hands to yourselves. Women, keep your hands to yourselves. And I, I'm like this. If I'm, if I'm in a relationship, I don't fucking, like, as soon, even if you play fighting, I dumped the girl for play fighting with me. I told her, I said, stop play fighting. Yeah, don't play and she, she was like, no, what's the big deal? And I said, I'm not fucking with you anymore. I was done. Play fighting. Cause, cause yeah, cause then that turns into real fighting, and right. I, I ain't trying to hear that. You How old are we? Exactly, exactly. How old are we? You know what I mean? So it, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, so we're, let's move on. Let's move on. So we're we're gonna go straight through the show. We're not doing any breaks because we had a long ass break because we was trying to fix the the fucking uh you know blog talk stuff. We got it fixed and all that other good stuff. So what I want to do now is um Anita, do you have any pleasure with Anita stuff? No. Anita forgot her <laughs> sex toys today. We are all over the place today. We are all over the place today. So this is what. <laughs> but what, wait, well, what, well, what do you have next to you? You have like a a a, a, uh, yeah. a toy a toy penis a um, balloon penis. Yeah, my balloon penis. Um, I felt like it was just was one less penis in the room. So I mean, yeah, because Maz wasn't here, so I bought in my own penis. Now, would I choose to pick pe penis personally? Probably not. But. <laughs> I just was missing Miles, so hence the reason. For oh my, my God, crazy! My, but you know, I do do um party stuff, and this is some of my party favors, penis. Um, so if you're having a girls' night out party, a, a bachelorette party, I also do um supplies and stuff like that. For nice, party. nice. So look, this is what, this is what we're gonna do because I was gonna do the whole. Uh, fantasy segment, but I wanted to switch it up. I wanted to actually, because there's a lot of shit on Facebook that people will be talking. So I'm, I'm going to take some Facebook quotes and I'm going to talk, I'm going to say them and then we're going to talk about them. You understand? So, <laughs> and then you're going to give, we're going to give our opinions on it. Okay. So the first, first quote, it says, uh, haven't you noticed the broke and low status dudes be the main ones talking about their preferences in women and how women should look men on a desirable caliber isn't bitching about what he doesn't want in a woman or constantly talks about what he prefers in a woman because he's too busy getting the kind of woman he wants in real life. Only low class bottom of the barrel losers brag about the kind of woman they want. Who would want, who would even ask them for directions on the street if they were lost if she was lost? That sounds like somebody bro. Wow. So, <laughs> so basically, <laughs> basically saying they're saying that the the broke dudes are are the, the 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 ones complaining, and the guys who you know have money aren't complaining because they're too busy getting the chicks in real life. What, what are your I, thoughts I, on that? Why they kill me? Raise your hand if you agree. I agree. The person really? who isn't getting no. ass is the one who's talking about on women poorly. And really? Yes, but, I think but so. But that's just really? the, it's the yes. one who's not getting ass and the one that's paid. So it's... Wait, hold on. No, 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 wait, 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 no, wait, 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 wait. The same. He's talking about the the one, the man who, the man who um isn't getting um the the girl. What you know, the man who doesn't have the money isn't getting the girl. Right. That's, that's also the same man who's not getting any ass. So he's angry too. We see this on Facebook all the time in our group. They're always complaining about women, and those are the ones who I bet you aren't getting any ass. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, Ronan. What Whatever. you, Ronan? What you think about that? Real quick. I want to hear what Whatever. you think about that. Okay, there's a big difference between, you know, a, a dusty dick dude who's sitting there pissing and moaning because he's not getting his dick wet, versus a dude who is out there seeing what it is and being very selective of his time and whatever chick he's dealing with. Mm. So it's all about intensity and intent. Okay, if he's asking questions, you have the right as a woman to ask questions for yourself and see where this is coming from. You can't make a blind assumption to figure if he has a certain stance you figure like he's broke. He could be sitting there like wearing regular clothes. He could be a billionaire. Mm. That's what many miss. Right. So. Exactly. Right. Well, mm. you know what it is too. I was reading that thing and I said, you know, and a woman wrote this uh, status, okay. and basically what I thought was that it's basically saying all women are hoes because if I need the money to get you, then you're a hoe. Isn't that correct or not correct? Whatever. No, I'm just saying though. No, if you think about it, if you're no, saying you know that the broke dudes are complaining because they don't got uh, money, and the guys with money is, is assumed to automatically have women, then that is oh, you logically that means that you need money to get women, like and if you need money to get women, right? Then that, then <laughs> you got to be a prostitute. Like it, but. but we know that that's not true, also, because that guy mm. in California who had all the money, very well off, still couldn't get no girls. It's which guy was this? The guy who killed all um the the. 
shot up the um college campus. The, his dad. Ooh, his oh, Elliot sister. Roger. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we know yeah. it's your it's your uh, social yeah, ability Mark. to fit in is when you, you get the women. And right. Women. I mean, I was I never believed that because you got money you could get ass. I mean that. Yeah, I mean right. you can pot you can pay for it. I mean, you just got right. You can you get, yeah you can you go know. pay for some prostitutes. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> people assume that you know just because you got money it's automatically gonna yeah, magically make you have game and then you're gonna right. just get it and then that's gonna be it. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, no, that's that's not that's not true. Now, real quick, I, I want to do it. Wait, say say that again, Ronan. Personal experience. I had a chick. I smashed a chick. All she wanted was a bologna sandwich and no bread, and she <laughs> gave me everything. So I don't want to hear that. I got to put money down for it. She gave me full service. She was hungry, Ronan. Hold on, wait, wait. We 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 got. I think we got uh, still waters hand back hand on the line. Hold on, we got. No water. We got. Oh, not still waters. Miles. I keep getting. Let's get. Let's get Miles back. No, the nine one seven. Nine one seven. We got to get the nine one seven four zero five on the line. Miles, can you hear Yo. us? Yo, what's poppin', nigga? Everybody, what's poppin', my Yo, nigga? Wait, come on, son. I, I leave for I leave for a week. And I know. Haywire, like, what's this is why you're not supposed to leave. This is all your fault, yeah, son. This is all your fault, son. I just, I just I can't I can't <laughs> leave, I can't leave you guys alone, huh? Exactly, nope. exactly. <laughs> this is all your fault. <laughs> oh, it's fucked up. Sugar. But but so 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 this is what we do. We going through the whole show because we had to take like five minutes to get this shit right. So we're gonna go through the whole show without any commercial break. You feel what I'm saying? So we just ride in and out right now. Yeah. So so what we was did, doing. Did you, did you talk about Obama and his uh his speech with the ISIS and the thing? Nah, what happened with that? Okay, so yeah, Obama's gonna that. go kill some more brown people. That's awesome. Really? Wait, 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 hold on. What's the story with this? Obama's going to war? Like what's happening? Oh no, remember a while back the, that group called ISIS, ISIS. the Islamic mm-hmm. State, they beheaded a couple of journalists. Right. CIA. Which could have been staged because uh, ISIS has been doing their thing for like a year now, mm. and I don't know why they would would do a video and send it on the internet of them cutting off an American's head mm. when they were, you know, just chilling, you know, running shit in the Middle East by themselves. But whatever. Right. So now um, Obama is is letting, you know, he did an address just now, letting everyone know that he, he has a plan to, you know, seek and destroy ISIS and train Syrian uh, military rebel groups to uh, to help American forces destroy oh ISIS, God. which is some is Islamic group or whatever. Did, and I could be wrong. Anyone, you know, feel free to to correct me because I really don't care about politics that much. So <laughs> I put it out there. Wow, Obama is um, man. We we saw that um um just before we went on the air, and we thought that it wasn't true. But um okay, so haven't we trained enough people in the Middle East? and befriended them and took them on and gave them weapons and power only for them to turn around and use that shit on us leo isis is the baddest shit coming they know that the media not talking about this but isis robbed banks took everybody's money so they're badder than anybody and they won't even like they're not even telling us that they're badder than anything we've ever confronted before they're mm. badder because ne- wow. before people didn't have they other groups um before isis didn't have the money they didn't have the power they didn't have have it now isis has bo- isis has the money and that's what makes it scary that's what makes it more scary oh. for them because they can buy they can go places and buy nuclear weapons they can buy shit to fuck yeah. with yeah and now wow it, right. it's serious wow it's and popping well since since you know since this is a live program and I, and I know you know people are listening somewhere I'm not going to say my real thoughts on it because I'm scared that you're going to, you know, think I'm some type of, you know, a thing that, that, they're they, they telling me to say it, they're telling me to say it in the sound room, but, 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 but my, Miles know I'm scared because I'm trying, I'm trying to go home to my white woman tonight and sleep peacefully. So all I'm going to say is this, all I'm going to say is this, America, fuck yeah. And and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Even though I I believe the opposite, <laughs> so because you know, oh, uh, it's maybe it's, Phil should call in. They not they not Phil they not paying me enough to, <laughs> to 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 say what I you know, because <laughs> I, I you know I can't I don't got that bail money. I'm saying I don't want to be tied yeah, up in. I don't want to put your life on the line. Exactly. Right? Yeah, he riding my car tonight. I ain't, try, I ain't trying to get beheaded. And, and for the record, for the record, I am totally support of what Obama wants, whatever he wants to do. <laughs> exactly. Obama, 
<laughs> just, 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 you know, just to let you guys know, I'm, you know, do you see how America gets you scared to tell the truth? Cause they'll fuck you up. You understand what I'm saying? But fuck that, man. Like one day, I, I all I need to do is go to the doctor, and if they ever tell me I got like six weeks to live, I'm talking shit all day. Okay? Why did I just take your shit off of YouTube? Like they always. They're gonna take my shit off YouTube. That's, it. That's all they're gonna do. That's all they're gonna do. That's all. They, hold on, we got we got another caller. I think two zero one on the line. <laughs> Who, who's this? You call it? This is Sexy Party Show. What's going on? Yeah, this is Phil. How y'all doing? <laughs> Phil, what's going on, man? Hello. Phil, what's your thoughts on on this whole uh, Obama oh, thing? God. Obama has killed more black people than um than George Bush. Oh shit! First of all, I don't like that we have to always say like these ISIS or Al Qaeda. All they after us. Don't put us in it. We still <laughs> slaves here in this country. Virtual they after truth. them. They after the rich. They after the powerful. They after the oppressor. And uh -huh. check it out. ISIS is actually backed by America, just like Al Qaeda. Oh shit! So we gotta get Did our need politics together. We Did can't need get caught nothing. up in it because they're gonna end up using black and brown people uh -huh. as cannon fodder for uh, uh, for American troops. It's gonna be Latinos, dark people fighting dark people, uh -huh. so rich people can stay rich. Yep. Word. Boom. Real, real talk, real talk, Phil. God damn it, man! <laughs> I knew Phil was listening. Man, hey, boom. Oh, and oh yeah. Oh, can I can I talk on a domestic violence thing? Because I got oh, kind of like sure. a situation. I I feel passionate. <laughs> I, I know you went forward on your on your show. I was trying to call in. It seemed like you have a lot of callers on right. the show. But I got to tell you this. Right. Um, we want to keep it one hundred with everybody. This country has been built on violence, particularly violence towards the weaker women. I mean, I remember right. watching TV. Everybody you remember Public Enemy with James Cagney smashing the grapefruit in the lady's face. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 even Ralph Cramden, we was laughing when he tells like, bang, zoom to the moon, and it was his connotation of violence towards women. Right. So, white America has been so violent, but they need boogeymen. They need to detract, need to distract people from Ferguson and that they're killing black men in broad daylight, okay? Right, right. Videotaped, right. and the man is still free. So now we distracted with this ball player. You know, it's terrible. You shouldn't hit women, also, although they get in your face and you want to knock them out. It's not really a good idea, but, you know, women, too, got to stop this whole idea that it's nothing that they could do to make a man want to just kind of like, you know. That is up. true. But we should always stay cool. In a perfect right. world, everybody is cool-headed, right? Everybody, we know what to do and we know how to get along but we ain't in that kind of world i just think it's really far more ashamed with the media this is the media that's led by a whole bunch of crazy lesbians all right <laughs> the <Yeah>. media's <laughs> you're not that ain't that, true that, 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 that want to vilify and join the bandwagon on vilifying black men because black men are the boogeyman in this country that and is that's all i gotta say about that that's true i love this show Shout out to Sexy Phil. Shout out to Phil. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Phil. So listen, listen. We 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 gonna we got we gotta get into the we gotta get into the topic at hand though because I we I really wanted to talk about this today. So the topic today is what are the desperate shit people do to stay in a relationship? You understand? Because this is you know a, a lot of times in in, in 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 life you know people they get into relationships and then it seems like they forget who they are because they're in love and all that other goofy shit, right? And then they end up doing things that they wouldn't have done in the first place. So, for example, there was this guy uh, the other day. He uh, I saw on Facebook. He had a picture of himself. He was going on, a, like, a trip with his boys, I guess. And it was a, he, had a, he had to wear a T-shirt with pictures of him and his girlfriend on the T-shirt. And on the T-shirt, it said something like, you know, this is my boyfriend. None of you girls better mess with him. And he, and he had to wear this shit. So he, his girl made him wear this shit. He wore it? And he What's wore it, name? yes. He wore it with, uh, when he was on his trip. You understand? Travis wow. Thing. So it's like, why would a man do that? Why? Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's that. He's a dick. He's a dick. <laughs> Boy, wow. <laughs> he is. He, he followed that? Yeah, and he, he, made, he actually did that. You understand what I'm saying? So my question is, why do people put themselves in it? Like, for example, we're talking about Ray Rice. Why would his wife... Or why would his, you know, then girlfriend marry him? Or you know what I'm saying? Your Did man you want just, me to tell you? Your man knocked you in the head in the in the in the elevator. Because she's a dick. Because she's a dick. And no, no, because she has low self-esteem. 
team. Anybody, man or woman, oh, uh-huh. if you stay in a relationship, it's because you and, and, and you and, and, and you hang on to this relationship. Let's say he cheats on you. Let's say he um you're in a relationship. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold that thought. In the sound room. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some instrumentals playing while we talking about this because we need some we need some music on this part some some instrumentals in the background real low okay go ahead Ania so um it's just low self esteem you're afraid to stand on your own you're afraid to walk away and you just cling on to something um and I think that it's sad right and that's the reason why if you have self worth uh uh-huh. you're not gonna stick around. And allow somebody to put you down or degrade you. You're just not. And I know that I, I just, and I can't speak for another woman because I have, I mean, I've never been in a domestic violence situation. Uh-huh. Somebody's hit me before and I was like, oh, we're done. Like yeah. right then, right there, we're yeah, done. We ain't even got discussing no more. I'm, I'm going, right. I'm walking, I'm leaving. Bye. You can, right. Nothing you can say after this point will ever fix that. And but that's because I have self respect. I have self esteem. So so go ahead. Women just you know women or men they just think that they can. It's a, it's a good person under there. I can. They can change them. them. Right right. I can change them. They so, just need my help and you know. Right. I mean, but, but we that's don't not know. The case, we don't you know. know. They might have been through some things. Sometimes you go through through some things with somebody. And you be like, this is rotted. I'll tell you why. I'll right, tell you why. I'll tell you why guys do it though. But sometimes you just. You just never been in love before, so so you are so you so you new to it, so you just you, you you get in this and you don't know how to get out. It's easy oh. to get in, but you just don't know how to get out. I tell I tell you why guys do it. I tell you why guys do it. Guys, they do it because they want pussy. You understand? And we get the pussy, <laughs> and then we're like, okay, I can either keep fucking this pussy, even though this girl's a bitch. Or I could waste more time trying to find another girl to get some pussy from who most likely will be a bitch. You understand? So they just like fuck. I I'm you know damn I, if I do damn right. If I then don't. if I do, then if I don't. But the thing is, there's good you know chicks out there, but it's it's like a finding a needle in a haystack with some, with some of these chicks. And I think a lot of women will stay like you were saying because insecurity, but also they you know women see women. It's more like their emotions when they're attached to a guy is like our emotions when we're attached to the vagina it's like we're so we're so emotionally attached to the vagina the same way women are emotionally attached to the man you understand what i'm saying this is why they'll do it you know like if you're in love with this dude he could do and say and do whatever and you'll still fuck with him when a guy's getting some pussy on a regular it's not even the pussy's that good but it's regular pussy regular pussy is beautiful people talk about new because new (laughs) pussy is great but regular pussy is it's like exquisite regular pussies like home you know what i'm saying because it's like yo i'm telling you regular this is why i can smile because i get regular pussy you understand what i'm saying (laughs) this is why men get married truthfully it's not it's that's the main reason why men get married for regular pussy because you have regular consistent pussy there it's like you know what i'm saying like if you on these streets, you homeless. You don't know when you're going to get pussy. That's how niggas are when they ain't getting pussy. They homeless right now. They don't know when their next meal is coming. A guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit is real. Hold on, Ray. Wait, wait, let me hear Ronan and Miles got his nigga in the back laughing. <laughs> wait, wait. What was y'all, what y'all talk, what, what y'all think on this topic, though? About why people get desperate. Hey, man. Uh... I, I'm still tripping on the whole self-esteem thing because right. it is esteem, esteem of yourself. I mean, uh-huh. that, that's trying to like pass the buck on responsibility there. If you don't have your self-esteem, you need to fix that. But right. You on point. You on point with the homeless pussy thing, man. I I, I see the correlation, man. It's, but people who have low self esteem don't know that they have low self esteem. It's like a, a home cooked meal. Right. <laughs> check, check your mind. See what the, the stuff that come out of your mind. Right. You don't know that you no, have no, low self esteem. Now, a lot of people know they. A lot of people know they have low self esteem. Focus, focus, focus on yourself. You, you know. Can have, I, have can have I some focus. Wait, wait, Miles. What you saying, Miles? Go ahead. Not, like, cause um, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll just put it out there. Like, I'm I'm dealing with this shit right now. I'm I'm basically homeless right now. And <laughs> the shit, the shit, and cause I for the last for the last you know ten years basically, I was getting like consistent regular pussy. Right. And it it was wonderful. And me and the person, you know, me and the, my partner, we had chemistry and everything. But now, like, I was just, I'm out here trying to search and find this and that and that and this and. It seems like, like, 
I, I tend to think that the desperation that we see with a lot of people is the desperation to avoid having to deal with with the outside shit. Right, there's exactly. A lot, there's a lot of nonsense going on in this dating arena. Like, like right. I, man, I, I mean, I'm experiencing chicks who can't even hold a candle to, to T.I.'s wife. Oh my God! Damn, trying, you know, trying don't to go act in like, on Tiny again. You know, you know, trying to act like they're Kim Kardashian out here. First of all, <laughs> another thing too, I just want to address something because I already told everybody how ugly Ti's wife is. But Ti <laughs> yeah. came out with a song the other day called "No Mediocre." What? And in the song, he says, "I only want <laughs> fly bitches. I don't want no mediocre." And I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> like, "Nigga, this is not a good song for you to be singing." <laughs> Now, now, Miles, Miles, I got this. Please I be nice. Not ugly. She's just visually abusive. You know, <laughs> Wait, yo, Ronan says she's visually abusive. How you say someone's Until visually abusive? she got her plastic <laughs> surgery, she really wasn't that oh bad. Oh, my man. God. Yo. Yo, Rona, you crazy. Oh, but that's but no, but that's why that's why people are desperate to stay in a relationship because like like for example, guys, if people just forget that they can they, they can get somebody else. They forget they can do better, right? But you gotta understand the work yeah. that goes into it sometimes is people don't want to have to deal with that because the work is the it, work is so ill. And then when you a dude that's busy, right? And you ain't really got the time to be chasing after these broads, right? Super entitled and think they're the shit, and they think they're entitled to your time and your attention, right? And it's like I don't, I it's it's tough, it's tough. <laughs> and and you know, it, miles, miles is on point. Miles is on point. The bachelor housing market is terrible right now. <laughs> It's the same for women. He said the vaginal housing market. <laughs> no, no, but for women, let me tell you, for women, I think it's it's you know, it's like it's weird because for women it's hard also because since y'all y'all get so attached, this is how great men are. Y'all get attached to us. We get attached to a piece of y'all. You understand what I'm saying? It's it's serious. <laughs> Are you looking at this? No, I'm just looking at this. You see the look that I'm giving you. I'm just saying. Look, man, them dudes be getting attached. Now, some dudes get attached. Thank you, Josh. Because the majority. No, no, because they they're attached to. I'm telling you, they they get they get attached to consistency. Yeah, because they cry. I'm telling you, know why they crying? They crying because they know. You know, me and my me and my me and my wife had a discussion the other day, right? And she was telling me, she was like, you know, how did you feel when you broke up with your ex girlfriend, right? And I said, I cried. And she was like, well, you cried. She was, she was like, oh, so I guess you were in love with her. And I said, no, I cried because I knew I had to find new pussy. You understand? <laughs> because I knew what I, I'm like, fuck. Well, you tell that story about you crying on the train. <laughs> no, I'm just serious. Like, like, like you, you, you got to understand. There like, yeah, like, damn, I got to go and find new pussy. find new pussy. That's why. And, and, you, and you know, because I was like, okay, I'm with my girl, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let the side chicks go. You understand? So now it's just me and her. So, and and you know, I, I think it was a pimp that once said, I'm not sure exactly sure which pimp it is, and it could have been somebody else, but I'm sure it's a pimp. He said, having one chick is almost like having no chick you understand so like because when yeah. she's gone yeah. you're fucked you can't you can't do nothing now you got to go in you know what i'm saying having so, one man is <laughs> right. like having no man no, <laughs> it have, applies both ways you know saying, having a whole bunch of women is like Having it's herpes. worse. It's like having herpes. You know what? <laughs> it's like having herpes. It, it, it increases your chance. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but so so so. I'm, all right. So what the, the question I want to ask is: So are people just in? Is there a lot of times people are in relationships because they are we're just lazy? Is that what it is? Of course, we're la we're Americans. I can't speak about <laughs> other countries. We're lazy about everything. But can I tell one story? Right. The best story I ever heard about trying to get desperate to get out of a relationship. Uh -huh. Um, my my friend was telling me that she, her and her boyfriend were gonna break up, and she kept telling him he had to leave the apartment, but he wouldn't leave. Right. So what she did was, you no, know, she kept saying it over and over, and he was like, I can't go, I'm not gonna go. But he couldn't afford the apartment himself, so she agreed to move. And because she was moving, he now had to move too. So everybody pack up their stuff. Mm. He puts it on his moving truck. She puts it on her moving truck. She goes around the corner mm. and moves back in. What? I was like, damn. <laughs> like, you, like I, you all know what it's like wow. to fucking move. And to move to get somebody out your house, yo, that shit is deep. I thought that was fantastic. But that's a new thing, too. Like, 
people they stay together because it's like I need your half of the rent. Right, for real. It's, it's, it's a business rent, now. You know, yeah, and that's that's, that's what marriage is really. The lights gonna be off. That's what marriage. <laughs> like, I, I need you. Right, because when you were <laughs> no, nah, because because when you was younger, when you was like sixteen, it was like. You know, yeah, I like you. We can hang out after school, and but I don't really like. Who cares if if I don't see you? It's just oh, I'm upset because I liked you. Now it's like shit. I done lost my job, and I was with you, and now I kind of, you know, what I'm saying I need to eat. Like it, it, the relationships take a whole nother yeah, I, fucking I level it. when yeah, you're an that, adult. That's, that, that's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why. That's why people get upset when you cheat. It's not because oh, it's really not about the fucking. Sometimes it's, it's about time. look, we got kids, we got bills. It, you, know you know what I'm saying? It, it, you're right. It's not about the sex. <laughs> and then that's why people stay. And then again, you know, it's like you say, okay, well, I'm gonna stay with this person because, all right, you know, look, like look at it, this thing. Like, if you married and you're like, okay, death to you part, and I'm supposed to be with you and all this other stuff, I get all that. But I met this dude the other day, and. I saw pi- I saw pictures pause right I saw pictures of his wife when they first got <laughs> together and his wife was hot when they first got together and then I saw his mm. wife now and I'm just like and they got kids and shit and it's just like I'm looking at dude and I'm just like yo like I'm I f- leaving. Yeah, like I feel bad for homie. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Because you leaving, right? That's what I'm saying. I told I told my wife if she get fat, I'm it's leaving. over. It's over. <laughs> I mean you know, you stop maintaining, you know Right. Like, it's over. I'm it's sorry. Because I'm there. I'm helping you. I'm going to be there mm-hmm. to helping. Whatever. So I'm in, look, I'm putting in work like you. Fat chicks unite. Fat chicks unite. Rona said he got I, bad knees. I'll do all the work, Rona. I don't need your knees in this. Where the fat chicks going to unite? We, 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 I ain't got a room for all that. Whatever. We're going to unite at the donut shop. It's donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> Not as I said we. I I am comfortable in my fatness. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just saying, man. Oh, wait, hold on. We got 10 minutes left. Before we go, though. Hold on. We I hear some stuff in the background talking. What's that? You gotta, you gotta cut that off. I'm hearing I'm hearing some whispers of shit. Okay, I think it's gone. All right, now. No, you hear that, right? What the fuck is that? Turn that down. Turn that shit down. Sound like some moist dude you know like when you had a, a, a like you had a spot and you find out a nigga's gay and he's trying to convince you to, <laughs> he's like yo yo just i'm just saying just a, just 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 a little bit no i'm dead ser- see y'all forget y'all forget i'm sexy so guys <laughs> yo no on some real shit shout out to childish gambino i was watching a, a fucking uh interview with childish gambino on this on the on the breakfast club and they asked this dude they say yo are you gay he was like well I don't know. And I was like, this nigga is the realest nigga ever. Ain't nobody gonna admit that shit. He's like, maybe. I, I never tried it. I don't know. Maybe I might be gay. I was like, god damn, you're a real nigga. Anyway, so pause. But anyway. I respect it. I know that. I know Miles not over there talking. Exactly. He said he well, could possibly do um, <laughs> suck a, a prince dick. On pause. <laughs> pause with all this. No, 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 no. What did you say? No, Correct it. Correct. Miles, what you stop, stop right there. <laughs> I said I would allow Prince to do me. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Yo, Pr- Prince is like the guy that every straight guy. <laughs> I wish I was there with the button. I wish I was. There. Oh, 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 but you're not. <laughs> but Yo. you're not. Dick, what does it matter? Yo, mad, mad, <laughs> mad dudes turn gay when Prince is around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait a minute, did you raise your voice? Wait a minute, you, you, you're trying to pop off over there. Uh-oh, bad dudes turn gay when Prince is around, but pause with all that. Let's let's stop the gay talk real quick, hold on. Yeah. Oh, but this, I wanted to get you guys' opinion on this, This is because we, we talked about Facebook posts, and I had this one quote on Facebook, and it, it, I was just like, what? So listen to this and tell me what you think. So it says, black guys let cops beat their asses, shoot up their families and children, strip them of all their dignity and then sit stagnantly and do absolutely nothing let a female simply hit you and you want to beat her up hmm. the difference is <laughs> exactly mm. you know the cops somebody got has a gun and they got guns. <laughs> right so it's big i can't believe she just so, and this is a woman who wrote this so um 
Jamil women need to start carrying guns. Okay, so we got it. No, but listen to okay. the, this, this, the logic. The, a woman wrote this and said, okay, cops is fucking with y'all. And, but then if a woman hits you, you want to beat her ass. First of all, if a woman had a gun, you probably wouldn't want to beat her. Right, right, exactly. If you had a gun, you maybe might, you might be like, maybe you wouldn't beat her ass also. But the point is, is that there's a reason why these cops is is doing the bullshit because they doing because it's called white supremacy and keeping your shit down. And then there's a reason why you hitting us, which is all the only reason is you're a bitch. You understand what I'm saying? So chill the fuck out. And you can't you can't compare Actually, that. Actually, actually, on the low, subconsciously psych and psychologically, right. the reason why black women are acting the way they do these days is because of white supremacy. Right, right. So, mm -hmm. Basically. It involves white supremacy because <laughs> before white supremacy, black women used to listen and shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> that's true. How was they listening to and shutting the fuck up when the black man wasn't there in the household? Oh, was he calling and giving oh. orders? Come on. <laughs> Come so, on. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did, didn't the chick kill her boyfriend because he wouldn't give her no sex? Oh, or, yeah, of course. There was, another, Whoa. There, was, there was another one that killed her boyfriend because he didn't get her a Valentine's Day gift. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, y'all waiting for me to answer? Though. Oh, yeah. Was, I, I, I was, it was a lady who was, like, sex. in her 50s, 55. <laughs> she stabbed her boyfriend because the sex was wacky. Yeah, it was oh, it was man. Damn, y'all women love the game. <laughs> But, but here's my problem here with those. Like, you can't say, like, we're sitting here, we're equal, we're doing all this stuff, but then when you get out of pocket and a dude puts you back, stuffs you back in it, now I'm a woman. Uh, you can't. Yeah, you, got, you, you can't go back and forth. No, we, I'm not saying that that's right. You can't go back and forth, guys. You can't do that. Oh, oh my God, I almost forgot about this. This, this is like the most important news ever. Ever, okay? Oh. Male birth control will be available in 2017. It's a wrap for you, ladies. No more baby mamas. It's over. I'm the first one in line for that shit. They probably gonna kill us. Something's wrong. They they probably gonna put something in that to to make niggas die. I don't trust it. But nah. if it's if it's cool, I'm gonna make other niggas try it. Nah. And if it's working, nigga, I'm Ain't all over that. Gonna stop my little frog. From <laughs> Nah. I, yo, I would just use the old way, just condoms. Yo, the birth control, they the, the work. birth control game is the, you said condoms work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put on the condom and use the birth control and pull out. <laughs> Woo! Whoa. It's going down. Just I'm putting the triple oh, threat on them. <laughs> he uh, said just jerk off. <laughs> I would appreciate. No, but you know what's good about jerking off though? They, they no cuddling. <laughs> After just you just you know I'm saying. Yo, ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth you get, though? You get to take care of business, yes. You can. You just get to go back to taking care of business. Right. Because usually, because usually sometimes I'm I'm like typing up something. I'm you know doing something I gotta do, and then I get the urge. I'm like I wanna I wanna let loose a little something. So then it'll be like it'll be like <laughs> you talk to yourself. Right? I'll be like, You're listen, like, I need a, I need a jerk off let... right now. Right. So. <laughs> I I stop what I'm doing. It'll be like it'll be like 155, right? And then I'll start jerking off, and then by two o'clock I nut, and then 201 I'm back to business. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So there's no there's no there's no wasting wonderful, time. Wonderful. <laughs> I don't gotta act. You know you don't gotta cuddle. You ain't gotta sit there and you know look in her eyes and is this? You know how girls when you do them real good they give you that look. That and I, ladies. That you gotta, you ain't gotta buy no food afterwards, nothing. Ladies, you ain't gotta hear her mouth, nothing. Ladies, and when you <laughs> masturbate, you think clearly, so you don't have to put up with the bullshit. When you're horny, you make bad decisions, men and women. <laughs> Anita, you know what you gotta That's do though. True. Yes, That's true. Anita, yeah. when you're when you're horny, you make desperate yeah, decisions. Yeah, that is true. When you are horny, you make crazy decisions. That is true. I, and I'm telling, I'm not, a, I, and you know, I'm not a BET fan. But when I saw that on uh, Mary Jane and her, she masturbated before she went to go see her ex. I was uh -huh. like, fucking classic. I will never go out on a date again without masturbating. Well, masturbating. It's true. You got to. You got to. Thank you. You have to. And, and, and bust off and bust off. <laughs> and you know what? You know what's funny too? The, 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 like when you, like you say, when you're horny, you make crazy decisions because I remember one time I was with some chick and, you know, we up there kissing and rubbing and shit and it is no fucking i ain't had no condom and then it just slipped in <laughs> for like six strokes and i was like fuck six strokes six strokes it i counted in. yes because oh, after slipped. the first one i was like i should get out the second one i should like i should get out and then the third one i was like all right a couple more and then i was like nah i gotta stop 
and I was paranoid for like that whole month. You know how that go? You be thinking about that month? Like, shit, is she going to call and text now. any day now? <laughs> and you start marking on the calendar, yes, no phone call. She can't be pregnant. Hopefully. <laughs> 13 years later. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Hey, remember that. <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. All I'm going to tell you, ladies, is if, if you ever get pregnant by a dude, do not Nike. meet. Don't meet him near a flight of stairs because he's gonna push you down it. That's all I'm saying. Just, just for FYI, just for your safety. Don't meet your demand near stairs. You will get pushed down the stairs by accident. But anyway, yes, you will. Yes, yes, you will. <laughs> exactly. By accident. Exactly. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly <laughs> by accident. But listen, we got like 60 seconds left. I want to thank everybody for listening. This was fun as hell. Um, tune in next week to the Sexy Party Show. Uh, we're, we're gonna make sure the fucking uh block talk is not fucking with us again, and we got everything going good, okay? So, guys, we will see you guys next week. We out of here, same time, same place. Remember, people, the truth is inside you. Peace. We out. Two. Later. Peace. <laughs> Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Oh, can you plug out that, you know, the white cord? Yeah. Thanks.